boys. How we going? Ha <laughs> ha Ah, was sorry. Was that a little too full on there? Bit too over enthusiastic, maybe. Sorry, guys. Just pretty excited to see you. Uh, it's been a tough couple of weeks. You know, not not just for me down here, but for uh, for for a whole lot of us, for a whole lot of you guys out there, and we've all got to stick together to get through it. You know, and uh, as for me, I've been I've been sticking together with Dan the Man. Check it out, guys. He's here. He's hanging out. He's back. He's just been sitting there keeping me company, and uh, never thought I'd say this, but uh, it's been been pretty great to have him here. You know. It's just been good to have someone to talk to, uh, and Dan the man, not such a bad guy once you get to know him, you know, we've just been, just been chatting, having a really great time, he's, uh, he's a great listener, guys, I've been, I've been talking his ear off, and Dan, well, you know, I just, I just have to admit he's been, he's been terrific, isn't that right, mate, haha, <laughs> yep, we've been getting on great, guys, in these very trying times, you know, you find out a lot about yourself. And uh, we've also we've also come up with some games to keep ourselves busy. Uh, so what I thought is I could throw these ideas at you guys. That maybe if you're at home, maybe looking to try and pass the time, you could try some of these games that we've got going on. So the first thing we came up with, so you get like a tennis ball and you throw it against the wall and then you catch it. It's pretty great. You can probably kill like five or six hours a day playing this, guys. It it does ideally require a tennis ball, which admittedly we don't have down here. But tell you what, we can imagine what it would be like if we did. You know, I've been throwing an imaginary tennis ball first, then Dan has a go. Um, anyway, you guys give that a shot if you want. It's pretty great. Uh, another thing we can recommend. Is an old-fashioned staring contest. Uh, we've been we've been doing a bit of that, and I'll admit, Dan, he's got my number on this one. It's pretty fun. Um, again, you could probably go three or four hours with a good staring contest. And oh, ha <laughs> ha! Look at Dan the man. Look at him go. Ha <laughs> ha! He is a pro, ladies and gentlemen. Unreal. Look at him. Look at him there. All right, Dan, good on you. You win again. <laughs> uh, 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 and um, the final game I can recommend, guys, is the sit in silence and think about all the mistakes that you've made that have led you to this point and then cry on Dan's shoulder for two hours game. It's, uh, look, that one's that one's probably not for everyone, uh, actually. Don't, don't worry about that one. Uh, but but feel free to uh, to let us know what you guys have been up to. You know, like I said, we got to support each other at this crazy time. Um, one one exciting thing that I have done while we've been down here, locked away, is uh, check out some more fan art. I noticed there was some more come through the email. Uh, terrific stuff from everybody. Thank you so much for everyone that sent something through. And I'm sorry that uh, we don't have time to get to to get to everyone's. But I just wanted to show you guys a few of them this week that have, that have really caught my eye. Uh, here's a here's a ripper. First up from Bomb Anderson. Look at that. Hey, eh? there we are. Me and Bomb and a scientist just just hanging out like buddies, arms around each other. <laughs> oh, do you remember when we could actually do that? That was. <laughs> oh. oh, I might need a hug after this, Dan. You know what I'm talking about. Um, all right, another one here from Sky. I look, I look pretty mad here. Probably because Dan's just beat me in another staring contest. Am I right, Dan? Hey, ah, uh, love what you've done with my hair too, Sky. That's wild, untamed, just like me. Barry Steak Fries. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you again to everyone who's contributing this week. Mel sent another couple through. She's she's been paying attention. She's got me in the pink suit that I've always dreamed about. Look at that. Sleeves and everything, guys. Amazing stuff. And this one. This one here is Dan's favorite. Am I right? <laughs> Barry in the bath. Yep. There we go. And I'm not ashamed. Don't know where to get a rubber duck that big. Uh, but if anyone does know, I am keen. That's for sure. 
Uh, terrific stuff. Really tremendous from everyone that sent stuff in. I've got I've got one more thing to show you guys, and this this is pretty exciting. Have a look at this from Eric. That is a Barry doll. Seriously, how awesome is that? Barry Steak Fries plush toy! Every kid should have one. That's some seriously great work there, Eric. Thank you so much, man. Look at the effort he's gone into there. Just got me thinking about the, the possibilities. The Barry Steak Fries toy line, you know? Barry dolls, Barry pool toys, Barry kids toilet seat, uh, the Barry Steak Fries My First Jet Pack, you know, the jet pack for kids under 10. I don't know, maybe it's got training wheels on it. This is just ideas, guys, just spitballing. But it's pretty exciting stuff. Thanks, Eric. I am very excited. I'm more excited about that than I've... Well, than I've, than I've been in a while, I'm going to tell you. Um, yeah. What? What's that, Dan? What did you say, mate? You want to get to the comments? <laughs> All right, buddy. Just settle down, mate. I know how keen you've been to see what people have been saying this week. So, you're right. You're right, Dan. You're right again, mate. Let's get into it. First comment from N-Word Pass says, Thanks, Barry. <laughs> no, thank you. Thanks to all of you. Everybody here. We all gotta we all gotta help each other out, you know. So thanks, Dan. Thanks, N-Word Pass. What whatever that means. Tremendous. Uh, a few more comments here. Aaron says, Hey Barry, do you have a favorite flower? I want to make a fan art of you. That's that's fantastic. Thanks, Aaron. More fan art. Definitely welcome, guys. Just a reminder, send it into Larry Steak Fries123 at gmail.com. Uh, Aaron, my favorite flower would definitely have to be those ones that eat flies. You know, the ones, those those carnivorous plants. They, they lure in the bugs and they eat them. That's totally rock and roll. Love those. What? <laughs> what? What, Dan? What are you saying? Ah, uh, yeah, all right. You got me. You got me, buddy. My favorite flower is is the lily. You're right. I was trying to trying to talk tough. Ah, uh, can't get anything past Dan the man. <laughs> oh, uh, all right. What, what else have we got? Honey badger. Hey, Barry. We better back up. We don't have enough road to get up to 88. Hope you're washing your hands. <laughs> What song do you sing when you're washing your hands? Great question, Honey Badger. Fantastic. Back to the Future reference as well. Terrific stuff. And it's a very good point there from the Badger. Very important to keep washing our hands correctly, guys. Uh, I usually try and sing one of my famous Barry Steak Fries rock operas. Uh, but I'm terrible at remembering lyrics, so I, I usually just end up yelling Barry Steak Fries over and over um, in various... Uh, you know, pictures like, uh, Barry Steak Fries! Barry Steak Fries! Um, I really enjoy doing that. I usually end up just washing my hands for about 15 minutes, uh, at a time. Luckily, I've got very little else to do, uh, at the moment. Uh, anyway, uh, Aprio Mapex. You look very dapper today. Is that a new tie? Ah, oh, it's so nice of you, Ap Apro. If that's how you say it. Which is probably not. Uh, but no. Nah, just the... Just the same old tie, mate. Sorry to disappoint. Uh, don't look at me like that, Dan. I'm sorry. Times are tough. Can't just go around buying new ties, mate. Ah, uh, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Touchy subject. Uh, X Gamer says, I have a question for you, Barry. Why are you so beautiful? Uh, X Gamer, you know, you know just what to say, mate. Great question. Um, it's got to be the tie. Doesn't it? Pretty good tie. Why would you replace this tie? Ah, what else we got here? Cody says, Barry, can I have your rainbow jetpack? Cody! Mate, look, I appreciate you reaching out riding in during this difficult time, but seriously, asking a man if he can have his jetpack? My jetpacks are my life, Cody. You've got some nerve. I respect that. Good on you. Took a lot of guts to ask that question. Nobody else has, I don't reckon. Uh, 
The answer's still no, but uh, good for you, Cody. You're, you're all right. Ah. Matthias Baccarat says, Who is the best half-brick character, Dan or Barry? Ha <laughs> ha, well, Matthias, that... That is a great question. Funnily enough, me and Dan, we have been discussing it at length down here. Uh, it's a really tough one, really tough one. But I am going to go out on a limb and say that the best half-brick character is Dan the Man. <laughs> That's right, buddy. You over there. You're number one in my book, my friend. <laughs> and Dan's favorite character is... What? Barry Steak Fries? Oh, Dan. <laughs> You're too much. Oh, stop it. <laughs> we're not gonna we're not gonna have this whole argument again are we ah <laughs> uh, well it's been great hanging out with you guys I reckon that'll do it for this week everyone stay safe and I'll be down here ah <laughs> uh, am I losing my mind find out next week uh, send help please help me 